Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Claw. I'm Jimmy Ventura. Sadly, there's no Gorilla Metal tonight. Um, so, you know. <laughs> it's going to be an absolute shit show. <laughs> Let me just put that out there. <laughs> Instantly. <laughs> We're in Kansas City uh, somewhere, wherever that is. Uh, America, presumably. <laughs> and uh, hello, Crash and Basham. Hello, JBG. Hello, Volk. It is the Yep Show. Yeah, I can't. I can't Yep myself, can I? So this is. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be horrendous. So it, up first, we've got a uh, Santa Todd versus McNaughton. Two guys who made their names in a tag team action, hot tag team action. McNaughton uh, obviously ending up uh, <laughs> losing his fight with Calcium, funnily enough, after kicking the shit out of him constantly. He lost the final match and uh, there's no more scotch milk. And of course, Satterfield, newly free from the J5 York around his neck. <laughs> wow, Volk. <laughs> oh, Basil. <laughs> he did have some nice moves, yeah. <laughs> None as nice as this, though. Look at that. From Satatod. He sure can move for a bit. I was going to say for a big man, but even for a small man, he can move for a small man very well. And here's McNaughton. <laughs> Looking rather like Mel Gibson. Uh, he's a wrestler from Scotland. <laughs> there you go. It doesn't get much better of commentary than this. He <laughs> really likes Braveheart. <laughs> Thanks, JVG. <laughs> oh, we're two minutes in. <laughs> it's already horrendous. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I really need a yep emote. I've got to make a yep emote. Holy shit. Oh, he hasn't got his I love ship uh, tattoo anymore. He's got I love Wendy again. Oh, fuck. Cock shit balls. But here we go. It's McNaughton versus Satatod. Oh, look at these overhands from Satatod. But the chops from McNaughton. What a scrap. Oh, my God. The knee to the fucking chin. Oh, my. He knocked him out. <laughs> <laughs> they just fucking knocked him spark out. <laughs> Holy shit. But he shrugs off that knee to the fucking jaw. <laughs> oh, man. Ridiculous. Oh, oh, he was going for the snack mass there. But countered by McNaughton. Unbelievable. Just fucking haymakers. Both both guys just fucking swinging haymakers at each other here. Look at this. Swinging for the fences, as they say in uh, Yankee Doodle Dandyland. <laughs> the classic. The classic corner taunt. My favourite taunt in all of wrestling. There you go. And Randy Orton's favourite move in all of wrestling. <laughs> A cheeky headlock. Glorious. No, I won't oh, give glorious. in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. 
Glorious. Thank you very much, Star Ferret, for staying fantastic. For half a beaver pregnancy. Unbelievable. I don't know why I went into a bit Welsh there. Ah, it was Johnny B. Good with a... It was JBG with a gift. With a gift sub. So thank you very much, JBG. I've got my core commentator, Artemis. I don't know why he's saying that. Oh, God. <laughs> I could do that, couldn't I? <laughs> Oh, look at this, the snack mass. It's the snack mass. Oh, fucking hell. He kicked him in the fucking head. That's got to be it. He's got him. Get fucked, McNaughton. Kicked in the fucking side of the fucking head. GG. Sat a toad with a win. What an amazing performance. This is still a continuation of Mr. Jim McMahon's grabbing for his big brass balls uh, thing, you know, so let's see who can who can uh, put their name in the uh, in the mixer for the uh, top contenders. And now we've got Ardvac versus Fall Force. <laughs> Out back, of course, famous for in the JFW for getting battered by taking on ten men at once. Fault Force does the same thing in his private life, and uh, also both of them enjoy a lot of uh, eye racing. Funnily enough, both representing Team Half Fast. Outback doing very good driving, and Fault Force has volunteered to be the uh, pit crew man uh, spotter, but. Um, you know he hasn't he hasn't been utilised yet, but he's there. He, he you know he, he likes they both like eye racing is what I took a long time to say. Well, he's not looking in bins <laughs> for his wrestling attire. He's eye racing. Half fast, half furious. DJ V2 It's fucking his fucking sandals are the worst. It wouldn't be that bad without the sandals. <laughs> I still got his shit attire on, never mind. Try to get rid of all the shit and stuff. Oh, here he is. <laughs> Big hand. <laughs> God, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot his entrance. <laughs> Oh, I should have had help and uh, help and chimp on while while uh, I should have should have had furries on while <laughs> should have had a furry special while Skuro was away. <laughs> I mean, Gorilla Metal was away. <laughs> boiled egg, the boiled egg, big ham. <laughs> Fucking hell. Glorious. No, I won't give go. in until I'm victorious <laughs> and I will defend. I will defend. 
<laughs> Why did I have to see this when I joined? <laughs> Glorious. Thank you very much, Thor, for staying fantastic for 45 months. Unbelievable. Thank you very much, Thor. Absolutely incredible. Thanks for staying fantastic. Nearly four years. Eleven who will be with pregnancies. Absolutely glorious. Thank you. Um. <laughs> and hello, Shawnee. Wow. A rare appearance from the unfuckable one himself. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah, we need beaver generations as a, as a thing. That's brilliant. <laughs> No way, shorty! Unbelievable. What we need is we we need Shawnee to make a. I'm gonna re. I'm gonna re. <laughs> I might like rebrand Shawnee, and he, he can come out and he's like, his finisher can be like Bishop to Queen to Bishop to K four or something. <laughs> And he can be all chess, be all black and white checkers or some shit. No, I'm joking. I wouldn't. I wouldn't re. I wouldn't remake Shawnee. <laughs> the unfuckable chess player. <laughs> you can't. You don't fuck me. I fuck you. I'm unfuckable. <laughs> it was brilliant. And I know it was done by the fucking, you know, that TV show, but still, not as good as, not, it wasn't as do, but done as well by them as it was by Shawnee. Yeah, indeed, though, indeed, yeah, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't fuck with Shawnee's creation, to be fair. Oh my god, look at this. It's the old disarmor, this has won so many matches. The most lethal, the most lethal submission manoeuvre in the JFW. But Fault Force powers out. <laughs> Go, K Force Cry. <laughs> Does it even go up to K? Probably not. <laughs> Only because of the age, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> You can, t you can tell that maybe I've never played chess before. <laughs> exactly, Shawnee, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yes, well. Not what I would, it's not what I'd have to do, it's just how long it would take, you know. Like, I, don't, I didn't want to bother with it if it was going to take me 10 years to not be garbage, which... It's true, Sean. It's true. God, he's really white, isn't he? Fault Force. And shiny. He really is a fucking boiled egg. <laughs> oh, vicious. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Not getting dice to chair. That Believe me, that was high on my <laughs> lists of why I would like chess. Or Tom Schnees. Oh, ho, ho. Wow, incredible. <laughs> the not getting diced is, is a really appealing part of chess. I've got to, got to say it. If you fuck up, you, if you lose, it's because they played better than you, isn't it? Which is pretty good. The bad thing is that'd be shit. <laughs> there you go. Instant tap out. Yeah, exactly, Sean. Yeah, like that's the thing, right? I'm just not going to understand any of it right now. So it's still going to be frustrating and crap. That's why I wanted a time frame on when I wouldn't be absolute garbage.
because the being absolute garbage at eye racing makes it really rough. <laughs> well, there you go, a dominant win from Ardvark. Absolutely dominant win. And uh, yeah, full force. Off he goes again. Ardvark is showing what a competitor is, and here we have to the two detectives, the two. Uh, <laughs> The two Among Us detectives, PC and Try, um, both of these guys, when they're not wrestling, they're on the uh, they're on the old uh, space station with Mr. Jim McMahon, uh, <laughs> trying to deduce who of their crewmates is, is actually a fucking alien. There you go. Hope we'll try. Yeah, maybe it's maybe it's Dimmy. I I, I I think it's Dimmy is why I don't play anymore. Lack of Dimmy. <laughs> and try is pretty incredible. Though. You're in for a treat. <laughs> There's PC. He's got his headband just like, just like in Among Us. Yeah, honestly, I think, I think it was just more fun when Dimmy was just, you know, <laughs> right? Just being Dimmy is just funny, isn't it? And then once he wasn't in, he just didn't have the comedy. He is trying, speaking of the comedy. <laughs> <laughs> He's been compared to a cross dressing Tom Selleck <laughs> because that's exactly what he is. <laughs> Pretty damn hot. It's harder to get hotter than Tom Selleck, to be fair. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> takes out PC instantly. He's all business. <laughs> Even though he's dressed like fucking that. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Oof, stomping on his arm. Now the vicious neck crunk. Old man PC. <laughs> of course, he's about 70 years of age. <laughs> his penis struggling to stay in his pants there from that. <laughs> As you can tell from that angle. <laughs> oh dear me. His crotch is something else as old PC here. You can see where he gets his powerful voice from. <laughs> Oof. Big counter from Try and oh my god, he's just fucking hammering him. Holy shit. <laughs> Unbelievable. And a big clothesline. line. <laughs> Try. Oh, big one count. Amazing. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I, forget, I just remembered who try was trained by. He was trained by the legendary Booker T. So it just just so hoping that he'll do a spinneroony. <laughs> that's the that's the high, that was the idea behind that. <laughs> would really like to see King Booker actually would really like to see try do a spinneroony. Oh, brutal. Oh, wow, what a f phenomenal forearm from Try there. There's the elbow draw. He's going to need more than that to get the pin. He's gonna do it! Oh, he didn't do it, motherfucker. Oh, wow. Absolutely savage, the ref. The ref couldn't believe that. No oh, PC's now over here. Oh, hello, PC. <laughs> PC is Undertaker randomly as well was trained by Undertaker isn't Undertaker was trained by him look at that there's the last ride oh. and now he's looking to put him away with a pile driver the best skill in Blood Bowl 3 <laughs> pile driver Oh, I kicked out. Um, well, uh, PC Gorilla Mezzo is unavailable for tonight, so uh, there is no, there is no Gorilla Mezzo. Look at that, brutal. This could be it. Oof, nearly. <laughs> yep, he's not around. Um, I don't know if he was banished by Mr. Jims McMahon or anything. But there you go. Oh, God, yeah, PC, if PC wanted to get on. The thing is, I've already started now, but if he wants to, I could sort it out, and he could do. Uh, what you've missed, table leg, is Satterfield with a dominant win over, uh, over McNaughton. And also... Um, another match happened. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> and the card is actually, that's actually the right card. Oh, unbelievable. So there you go. Oof. So close. Aardvark, yeah, Aardvark with an absolutely dominant win. It's a re relegated, relegated uh, big ham back to the, uh, back to the kitchen, <laughs> back to the canteen. <laughs> it's a very memorable woman, yeah. Oh, look at this from PC, the big clothesline. Oh boy, try going up top. Oh, wow, what a manoeuvre. I think he practised that on Skeld. <laughs> See what I did. That's true, Bezel. That is the most memorable... I mean, that is literally the most memorable match in JFW history. Thanks to Skuron never fucking shutting up about it. <laughs> Here we go. The Kekwiti... <laughs> oh, there you go. There is the three count, and Try beats PC in the battle of the um, 
in the battle of the Among Us detectives. <laughs> Sorry, please. Oh, flick it up. <laughs> Hello, Otter Isle. <sighs> now we've got two. We've got two furries. <laughs> Very good, PC. We've got a couple of furries. Chun hasn't been on much, has he? Since uh, since he split with uh, Finny. They were they were split by the. Uh, the brand split between shit and uh, JFW. And then since then, uh, you know, Chunter vigorously defended the JFW. And uh, Finney represented shit and they've fallen out. There's no more fucking rats. It's, uh... <laughs> but Chunter hasn't really made a name for himself yet, so maybe he will. Now. From the Netherlands, in at 220 pounds, I obviously didn't do Chunter's entrance for some reason when I remade him. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, Shawnee. You horrible bastard. <laughs> no. They're not the same thing, Sean. Shit was Skuro's high intensity tournament. And, uh, you know, I had loads of good matches in there, but in the end, he came crawling back to Mr. Jims McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> arm bar. It's all about arm bar and power driver. He <laughs> can be a Polish turd. That's true. It's a lot of emotes, isn't it? Which one should I lose for Yep? We've got to have a Yep emote, haven't we? But I don't know which which one of those to get rid of. I guess the Among Us one is is used less now. No, I guess could get rid of the, the Christmas. Yeah, I could get rid of the Christmas one now. The Christmas man can be replaced by Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I do like some kind of Battle Brothers related emote, but I don't think there could be one. Yeah, the potato will always remain. <laughs> oh, okay, then that's good for you. I mean, I do. I, well, I wouldn't say I loved it. I mean, I made it, but I, I, I feel like I could do do it better, but. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought maybe. <laughs> I could have something like that for Battle Brothers, actually. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, like, I don't know what Battle Brothers in what nothing happens. Nothing happens in Battle Brothers. <laughs> oh, look at this. Some technical wrestling here from these two. Skrull Dude, of course, incredible main event quality wrestler. Always seems to have uh, been passed over by Mr. Jims McMahon. 
And here he is fighting a dude who hasn't been on TV in fucking months. <laughs> but, um, you know, Chunter is a force for sure. How many hours? It's a good question. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> like he's got the best sound effect. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking game this fucking guy with these fucking dice <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that's the greatest 527 hours it's quite reasonable now 527 hours <laughs> oh man, it's the greatest clip though. It's like it's, it's literally one of the best Blood Bowl clips all time. <laughs> oh, big counter from Chunter. I mean, Chunter is a great wrestler. He should have done something really. Uh, as a singles guy, but you know, it's probably the fact that he looks like what he looks like. <laughs> That's probably you know not not putting himself in the uh, into the eye of Mr. Jim Smith Man as a potential. Character. <laughs> Look at that, what a manoeuvre. He is a rat. A fucking rat. Oh yeah, I heard that Kano was looking at the uh, dice or not. Oh dear. <laughs> well, it makes sense, doesn't it? People like to say they were diced. Couldn't just be because they did something wrong. The crystal walls of Chunterino, but instantly counted. <laughs> oh, Tom Schnitz, I don't even need to know. I mean, I'm always diced, so it's easy. Easy for me to work out. I remember I looked about ten of them. And for about seven times in a row, I'd had the worst dice. And the one time I had the better dice was when I'd, like, won about 5 nil or something. <laughs> it was just an absolute massacre. <laughs> Oh, so close. Exactly, Sean. <laughs> oh, there's the sit out last ride. Absolutely brutal. Folds him up like an accordion. Is this it? The chunter. It is. Squirrel Dude is your winner. And maybe this will finally catapult Squirrel Dude into the big time. Who knows? Back to the drone board for Chunter. Maybe he'll have a repackaging or something so that he doesn't look like fucking Latitar. <laughs> Who knows?
Here we go, calcium versus space cadet. Calcium getting his hands on some Norse country. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, probably as well. Yeah, I've got my uh, got my match tomorrow, thirteen hundred UTC versus Cornite, whose team name is Get Fucking Norse. And does have I mean it's Norse versus it's it's dwarves versus Norse. So dwarves are basically Norse with plus two armor on everybody. So no doubt I'll get outbashed. I've got more guard, more mighty blow, more armor. So no doubt I'm more strength with a death roller. No of course I'm gonna get fucking Norse. Advantage space, unbelievable. <laughs> Graham the milkman, no amazing. Looking like he means business tonight, calcium. Gonna kick the shit out of Space Cadet. Space Cadet obviously has the build of an average 14 year old boy. So, you know, Calcium's gonna be in his element for this one, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen Calcium for a few days. No doubt he's, he's binging on, uh, on Cobra Kai season 3. Which I'll have to do at some point. Probably should have done it today, but I uh, accidentally played Battle Brothers all day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, space. <laughs> It's a bit like I think the actors are really good, but what they're given to work with is not. <laughs> but it's fun. Like it's fun, which is you know if that, that's what you want. It's good, isn't it? Whoa. Well, I hope you... Hope you... I hope your roundhouse kicked her in the face then, Tom Schnitz. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hope that. <laughs> it was just a joke. <laughs> oh, look at that from Calcium. Devastating. <laughs> oh, wild swing and a miss from Space Cadet. Oh, that's good. Bit of Robocop. I haven't watched the remake and wouldn't watch it. The original was good. Oh my god, devastating spear there with the uh, horns. I just wouldn't. I just wouldn't watch it. It's just. They're all shit, aren't they? All, like, 99% of movies are shit, to be fair, I think. Especially new ones. Oh, 
Oh, Christ, what a move that was. Holy shit. I mean, Dread wasn't really a remake, was it? It was just a, another movie about Judge Dread. I mean, the first one wasn't even Judge Dredd movie, it was just a Stallone movie that called himself Judge Dredd. <laughs> There's a character that never takes his mask off. Well, I'm Sylvester Stallone, so I'm taking my fucking mask off. Okay. <laughs> Oh god, yeah, to be fair, that was pretty good. That was pretty good, uh, Night Demon, to be fair. That's it. And Calcium kicked the shit out of Space Cadet, and everybody is happy. Get fucked, Nor's country. No mercy from calcium. Yeah, I mean, Marvel obviously found a formula that worked, didn't they? So everyone's gonna try and copy it, and they're gonna keep they're gonna keep flogging their dead Marvel horse until they <laughs> until they until they can't flog it anymore, aren't they? And now it's time for your main event: Goliath versus Foxamania. The extra arms belt champion Foxamania versus the biggest man in the JFW. Probably. Because Crush is a Minotaur and uh, <laughs> Gengar's a mummy and oh, EAB's a robot. <laughs> Goliath may just be the biggest man in the JFW. <laughs> oh, hey, Wanger. <laughs> Goliath is bigger than Wanger, unbelievably. And also, Goliath is the best peasant ever in uh, <laughs> in Battle Brothers. <laughs> Gengar's a mummy, not a man. Yeah, Zug, Zug is Zug is taller, but I think Goliath, you know, Goliath might be bigger, right? Goliath's pretty fucking big. <laughs> He's big. And he's got a tank cock. <laughs> Which is pretty good. A <laughs> wrecked asshole. <laughs> he's definitely oilier. But not as oily as Fault Force. <laughs> Fault Force is definitely the oiled. <laughs> the, the most well-oiled machine in the JFW. He was trying to invade <laughs> Pretty great shot. Oh, baby. Looks like he's gonna break the robs, isn't he? He's that fucking massive. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great. <laughs> Lots crashing, brushing. Lots. Ha <laughs> ha. 
be as well. <laughs> Your extra arms belt champion. The pride of Yorkshire. Close personal friends with Sean Bean. <laughs> and one half of the YPA. <laughs> <laughs> and of course Goliath famous for hating northerners they, they you know there's a bit of a, there's been a lot of needle between Goliath and the two Yorkshiremen and here they're gonna settle it in the ring Both pretty fucking hairy. Oh my god. <laughs> Brutalized. Yeah, Dave as well. I could have made it YPA versus Dave and Goliath, couldn't I? That would have been a good idea. But I didn't, sorry. <laughs> yeah, the Sean Bean booth. <laughs> Incredible. Hair <laughs> versus hair. No, no title. <laughs> it's my title. <laughs> no, I think yours will be going for the. Uh, you'll be going for the stand firm one, won't you? The uh, world heavyweight champion, not the EAB, but it's not on the line. No, non, non, non title. Just uh, Goliath gets to get his hands on the uh, on the Northerner. Oh God! What is, what is that? A flying nothing. Three flying nothings in a row from Foxamania. <laughs> oh my god, German suplex to Goliath. Unbelievable, Jeff. Oh! Four. Look at that brutal stuff. Oh. Uh, no, no, Foxamania's EAB champ. And, uh,. JBG is world champ. Poof. Oh my god, is he going to jump on him? Surely, surely he is. The big man's going to fly, maybe. Nope. He was just teasing us. Goliath the cock tease. <laughs> oh, now trying to tear his head off. <laughs> oh, another flying nothing. <laughs> Not really working out from that maneuver. Oh, and then Goliath drops him face first on the turnbuckle. Those really hard padded turnbuckles. <laughs> Is that a sidewalk slam? No, it wasn't. It was a back break or some stupid shit. I don't know what the fucking names of the moves are. Spoiler alert. All oh, the brain worms from Goliath. I know what that move is. <laughs> Oh, the big boot. Is that it? No. I tell you what, Goliath's got some fucking thighs on him, hasn't he? He's saying he was spreading his thigh muscles. There are some fucking thighs he's got. And here with the fox lock incoming. He's really close to the, the 
ropes, but I don't think he'll get the rope break. Will he tap here? Probably. No. He manages to power out somehow. Mmm. And it's another fox lock. Surely now Goliath will tap. Oh, his hatred for northerners spurring him on. Unbelievable. <laughs> Devastates. Devastates Foxomania there. He's got him! Oh my god! <laughs> Just a fucking nothing move! What the hell? Goliath shocking the division. What a statement. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe Goliath earned himself a title shot with that. Unbelievable. Very good, Bezel. That was an incredible performance from Goliath. Powered out of two fox locks. And then beat him with a terrible move. <laughs> Hairy friends, yeah. <laughs> right, so there you go. There's, there's Goliath. There's a zoom into his crotch there. Glorious. Um, so there you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.